Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to update your HackG2 hack for your Super NES or your NES. It's very easy to do. It is October 14th, 2017, and the new version V2.21D just came out. Now I have, if you scroll down, I have V2.21B. A few things have uh, changed. So I wanna update to 2.21D, but I don't wanna lose anything that I've added to my old hack sheet, all my games, um, all my folder images, just all of my settings in general. So the first thing you wanna do is download Hackshi newest version. I have it on my desktop. First thing you wanna do is create a new folder and I'm gonna name it Hackshi 2.21D. I'm just gonna put two Ds because I actually already uh, updated my Hackshi. I just wanna show you guys how to do it. I always name them to what version it is. It's just easier. I usually have a couple. As you can see, I have 2.15. I have actually 2.14 over here for the NES. So let's open up the zip file, drag everything into the new folder, close it out. Once that done, that's done, I throw away the zip, open this up. This is the new Hackshi folder. This is my old one that I have. Here we go. So this is my old hack sheet and this is the newer one that I want to update. So you just need to drag in a few files. The first one is the config file. So I'm going to hold down. You can do it multiple ways. Right click, you can copy and then paste over here. I just like to highlight, hold the control button and drag over. You also need to do the dump folder. And then you need to do your games. Mine are in the games underscore super NES. And that is all you have to do. Let's open up the new hack sheet. And as you can see, I have all of my games here. All the artwork is saved. That's the major thing. Once you update to a new hack sheet version, you wanna make sure not only do you have the games, but the artwork. I have 220 games in here and the artwork can take a long time. Although you can highlight them all, right click, download box art, but not all of them come out correct. And some of them don't look correct. Uh, they're, they might be the right game, but they're different file size. So it takes a while to do that. But anyway, that is how you update. It is very, very easy. Just make sure you uh, copy over the correct folders and make sure you get that dump file in there too. Anyway, hope you guys liked the video. If you guys do, give me a like and I'll see you around.